Hi there. In this video we are going to be taking a look at a hard drive dock from iNeo. And my daughter wanting to be in the picture. So let's get this open. Okay, we have this open. Warranty card. If you need the info on it, here it is. If you don't have yours anymore, I knew. Uh, thanks for your purchase. Well, thank you for sending this unit uh, in to help the channel with my data storage needs. If you need to contact them, here they are. And presumably we have the manual in here. As you can see, this thing can take two. Uh, 3.5 inch hard drives or uh, two 2.5 inch hard drives and in theory at least as i if i remember correctly this is uh, a usb3 uh, model i hope i'm not wrong about that and it has hard drive cloning uh, built in so you can put a hard drive with data on it put another one empty and press a button and this thing will clone them as you can see source target but i don't think i will be using the clone mode um, i just need the place to to insert my hard drives and move data from from one to the other uh, via the computer so not a full clone just some of the files so let's take a quick look at the manual and then uh, put this uh, at work and do a test as we can see, quite low system requirements for this USB 3.0. So I remembered correctly the port, which looks like a printer port, power and power switch, slot A, slot B, source target, it's cloning progress LED, power LED, obvious reset button and copy button, which will do the, clean, the cloning. This is how you install the hard drives. As you can see, uh, some drives don't support uh, plug and play. That's not ideal, but uh, it's safer to have this thing shut off when plugging in a, a new hard drive or unplugging, just in case. If you need to read the rest of the instructions, pause the video. I'm not going to read them on video. On the back, there's nothing. So let's get to taking everything out of the box and actually using this nicely uh, packaged. As we can see, it has foam fit, really soft, so it will not scratch your furniture and it will also not uh, slide around. I don't think I can get it out with one hand or actually I can. the port for the bigger hard drive 3.5 inch or only a small hole for a small hard drive okay let's start plugging in uh, the cables which yeah, uh, my daughter is putting some screws in here from another thing so they are not uh, from this box okay we have an adapter, so if you have a laptop that only has this port, it will adapt it to our cable. So honestly, that's a nice touch. A really nice touch for including this. And it is called to the touch. So I think this is actually metal, the, the casing on it. Yeah, it's called to the touch, for sure it's not plastic. Even through the back I can feel it's called. This is our cable with the connector. I think it's type B connector, USB 3.0 type B, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, this is a small problem. I don't have uh, these kind of sockets in the house. Let's see what plug we have in here. I didn't realize to mention that I uh, will be needing a European uh, oh, I have adapters. Oh, never mind. I have adapters. But anyway, it's 12 volt, 3 amp. 
So I do have uh, other uh, such uh, power bricks, but I have adapters, so we will be using the original brick. So that's an, a non-issue. Adapter to the rescue. And this is not some cheap no name that uh, can come out. It's quite hard to get this thing out. So it's, it's stuck in there. It locks in place. It's what it needs to be. So I can use this like this without issues. Or if I want to, I can just go to this, which is 3.8 amp. <sighs> Minus on the exterior. Let's see what we have here. Minus on the exterior. And the plug. And my daughter showing me. Yes, this is actually metal. The, the external part of it, as you can see. So that's awesome. Let's see these two connectors. Are they looking the same? Yep, same type of connector. So, worst case, I can use this at any time, but I will use this as is, no issues. And uh, yeah, let's plug everything in. This thing, an SSD, let's see the direction. You can look at this and understand how it needs to be plugged in. Slowly, don't push on it like a madman. Wiggle it just a bit around and it's in. Yes, the SSD is thin, but it's in without issues. So let's uh, connect the cables and be ready to simply power this thing on. Presumably, isn't this a power button? I was expecting maybe it's a touch power button. We'll see that in a moment. Because, or it's nothing. It might be nothing, just uh, because we have the one off switch on the back of it. Hmm. So this is just uh, a status ring with a different type of plastic on the inside, just to look more interesting. Okay. Okay, cables plugged in, SSD plugged in, this is plugged in. I could potentially use this adapter in a port right here, but doesn't make sense. Laptop should be on at any day. No, it was in standby or something. Yay. So, let's power on this thing from the rear button. And flickering LED. This is recognized. The partitions on the SSD are right here. Perfect. So at this point, let's uh, do a speed test to see. Next, I will show you the speed of the internal SSD from this laptop. And then uh, I will show you the speed result from um, the test that I'm doing on the SSD itself and then I will also do a copy uh, test or direct copy simple copy from uh, internal SSD which is NVMe so it's not limiting factor to this thing so F yeah F is on this drive and it has begun so be back to you in a few moments but next i will show you the speed of the internal and then back to this this is the speed of the nvme ssd in the laptop so if we see lower transfer numbers than this obviously this is not the limiting factor i just did a test to show you that not the internal disk is the limiting fa uh, limiting factor Test is finished. Decent speeds for uh, what uh, I need. <laughs> Way more than enough. I've gotten a bit higher speeds on this particular SSD from another uh, uh, enclosure from iNeo. I will link it in the description of this video. But that's an enclosure for a, uh, something like this. It transforms it basically into a, a portable external hard drive. It's not something like this that you plug it in, then take it out and whatnot. But that one was just a fraction faster than this. Anyway, speeds in this way more than enough. I will be mostly using it with uh, uh, spinning platter hard drives, mechanical hard drives. So the enclosure will not be a limiting factor by far. The hard drives are much, much slower than what this enclosure can do. But also with an SSD, 
decent speeds, I'm happy with it. Let's just simulate uh, a simple copy from uh, the SSD in this to the SSD in there. Let's see, we need F. Uh, did I get it right? I might have gotten it wrong. Okay, so copy from C to F. Tap, come on, tap. Am I trying to do this with my left hand? Will it, there be success or not? <laughs> Sorry about that. Come on. Okay, and we can see it now. So we are writing to this from this. So the transfer is going in this direction from laptop to that. And this is the speed that we are getting, which is close to what I saw uh, a bit smaller than what I saw on the other enclosure, but not by much. Still quite close. So, yep, happy with it. Let it finish and then um, let's go in the other direction. And yes, I'm not familiar with... Uh, uh, this windows uh, at all honestly let's take this file right here which is about the same size as you can see exactly actually the same size is the same file but renamed tap on it and drag it and now simulate a copy from the other direction basically from the SSD to the laptop so Yep, a bit higher speeds. I saw the bigger speeds again with other enclosure, but uh, yeah, this is still way plenty for my needs at least, for sure. And yes, just because I am the way I am and I play it safe most of the times, ejected. But that disconnects everything in it. Basically, the whole thing is disconnected now. If you have two of them, two hard drives, both of, are disconnected. And then close it. And only then take this thing out. Yes, again, this supports hot plug. So you could take it out, plug it in, whatever. You don't need to disconnect it, uh, turn it off completely like I did. But I play it safe. It's, it doesn't take me that much. I can put another hard drive in, power it on, and it will, the laptop will see it again. So it takes me a few seconds uh, more, but I know for a fact that I don't risk anything, even in the worst case scenario. So, yep, that's just me. You decide uh, how you do it. Forgot to tell you the accepted uh, storage for the enclosure is uh, 8 gigabytes hard drives maximum. Or at least that's what the specs say. But maybe someday in the future I might try it with more and see what happens. Ask me in the comments if it worked or not. And yes, obviously, I also connect uh, big desktop hard drives uh, to this particular uh, iNeo device. And it works perfectly. Doing some partition modifications right now, for example. Obviously... I can also use this to clone uh, some partitions from a bigger drive to a smaller drive without any issues but through software because the partitions need to be resized. And now to end this video let's see if I can clone this Samsung SSD to this which is basically an adapter which has an M.2 SATA SSD inside. Okay, so I want to clone this to this. So the Samsung to this uh, basically adapter. It's says an SSD inside an adapter. Anyway, uh, I was a bit confused. So let's power this thing off to start from scratch. You do not need to be connected to a PC. Power it on. Just give it a few seconds until we are sure it recognizes the drives and not whatnot. Uh, we need to hold on to the copy button until all four of them will blink. And now press again until only this one blinks. And now I think we are actually cloning this one to this one. Okay. 
let it do its thing. As you can see, we have progress. So we are above 25% at the moment. And when all LEDs uh, stop blinking, cloning is finished. So this will be my go-to tool for uh, simple cloning like this without needing to do anything on the computer. Just pop in the drives, press the clone and start uh, the copy button like I showed you and start the cloning. And also this will be my go-to tool when I need to connect uh, to the computer a desktop hard drive. For laptop hard, uh, hard drives, I cannot talk today. I have uh, something like this, a really tiny device. But for desktop hard drives, you need something with external power much beefier, exactly like this. And this can even take two drives at the same time. So, yep, awesome tool. Cloning is almost finished. Only the 100% LED is blinking, so we are between 75 and 100% cloned. Just want to mention a few things. The new drive, the one that you are cloning onto, must be the same size as the old one or bigger. It cannot be smaller. If it's bigger, you will have a, an identical clone of this one onto this one and what's uh, bigger it will be empty space unallocated and you can create a new partition in windows in that unallocated space so this will not resize your partitions it will simply exactly clone them to the new drive just wanted to mention a few things also another warning in some cases these two being identical clones windows might not recognize one of them directly and assign a drive letter so you might need to enter disk management and assign a different drive letter to one of them by yourself we will see if in my case it assigns by itself or not cloning is complete now we need to shut off the unit from the power button and next i will wake up my laptop and connect to it and see if the drives were correctly cloned they are cloned we still see only the old one the new one doesn't appear if i go to computer management we have a signature collision between the new and the old one uh, i can deal with that i think if i remove the old one let's see what happens now this might come online now and I think it actually did. Or not yet. Maybe I need to... Oh no, it, ca it came online. So it is an exact copy of uh, that one. But now uh, you can see the unallocated space. It was 12, megs, uh, 12 gigs bigger than the old one. I need to change the drive letter of this. Let's put something uh, X okay yes we will sign the old drive letter until you restart changing uh, yeah, 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 continue because the drive seems to be in use oh no it actually did change it let me see what happens now when i plug the the old one will it be able to also recognize that one both of them disappeared okay blinking leds one of them appeared and now we might have a, an issue with the other one yep Oh no, so <laughs> yeah, it, uh, yeah, sorry, I wasn't showing what I should, uh, Windows, has, uh, Windows has a problem with this, uh, basically this thing makes carbon copies, so I don't recommend you do this when you want to use both drives on the same computer, maybe if I give Windows a restart it will figure itself out, Anyway, for me, it doesn't really matter. When I do a carbon copy, the, the 
not both drives will be going in the same computer anymore for sure from that moment on so for me this this doesn't matter honestly but yeah i'm sure there is a there is a workaround for this thing let me just give windows uh, a reboot and see what happens and be back to you in a moment the solution was very simple and i'm mad that i didn't uh, record why while i fixed it i literally needed to right click on that uh, message let's see if i get it offline will it give me the same error i don't think it will give me the same error uh, i literally needed to right click in here and hit online something like this and then it popped up right there and we have both of them carbon copies so yeah <laughs> there's that uh, really hope this uh, video helps you and thank you very much INEO for sending this unit in will be put to good use on my channel as always if you need uh, ask anything in the comments and see you in the next video bye